What's up, mamas? I'm Rebecca. You're watching The Reseller Mom Show. Thanks for joining me today for a video that I think will be helpful, maybe not for everyone, for I think quite a few people. I have had some questions um, about the closet signs that I have in my Poshmark closet, and I just want to show them real quick. Um, something like this Mom Roar Boutique sign. This is usually the first sign when I don't have a sale going on. It lists out all of the different types of items that I carry in my store, how many available listings I have, that I have, how many items I have sold, which I have not updated in quite some time, and that I ship same or next day. This is my bookmark sign. And I have recommended people doing this um, in my closet reviews, and so I thought I would do a video on how to do it, and if I have time, possibly how I do some of these other signs. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and show you a little bit more in depth what it is. Basically, it's an image that you upload into a listing, and you can create that image in all sorts of graphic design apps. I like to use Over, I like to use Typerama, and I like to use, um, what is the other one? Oh gosh, uh, Pick Collage. So this particular one was made in Over, so I'll show you that first, and we'll see how long that takes. Um, I also have this additional sign that I put underneath it, so it's the second picture in the listing that says 20% off of bundles, that's my bundle discount. So that's in this listing. I could actually have that as a separate sign. I don't think I have it as a separate sign right now. Um, and then in the rest of the listing, I just put some general information about my store. So I'm not gonna walk you through how to actually create a listing, you know how to do that, but I'm just letting you know how I create the image for a listing that you would create that is your bookmark sign. Then if I have time, I'll show you how to do something like this, which is the clearance sale that I'm running right now, which is not all the time, but this is done in pick collage, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner of the image. Um, so that is something you can check out as well if I don't get to it. And then this is another sign that I made for my um, Macy's house brands that I have. Those are all like you know, have a special pricing structure. And I've also made that in pick collage as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in to the over app. It's this yellow app over here in the top right corner. So I'm going to click on that. I have lots of projects. Okay. So this one, let's start with. So this has already been made. So basically we're going to make kind of something like this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on the yellow plus sign to start a new project. I always just start with a white background unless I'm trying to do something different. It starts off in square mode, so you keep that and hit the check mark. So let's say you have a logo, and let's say your logo is this. I was doing a project with Geo later. don't judge me. <laughs> so let's say that's your logo. Again, we're just gonna try to really quickly create something similar to mine. And let's say you sell women's, men's kids so this is just a text box and we're going to put that over here and hit the check mark again that allows you to reset and go to the next uh, element that you want to put so you have all of these elements at the bottom that you can add in some features are just for pro users of course but um, you can always add images, you can always add text, and really that's all you need to do. Even if you don't have a logo and you don't put an image, but you just put, you know, like to bookmark my closet, and you can put that at the bottom. You can change what font you want, make it something that works for you and for your brand if you have anything specific. Um, this one is always nice. And so you can just play with it however you want. You can also add a text box that says ships next day, offers welcome. I mean, any of these kinds of lines you can add. So let's just say that this is what you wanted to do with it. And you can click on anything and move it around. Each one is a different element. You can click on these as basically like layers, this um, layer button at the top, the second from the right, and you can move them around that way. So I mean, I'm not gonna do like a complete tutorial on this over app. If you do want one, perhaps I can make one in the future, but in this particular video, I just wanted to keep it very basic as far as making a bookmark sign for your closet. So let's say that you're done with this um, and that it's gorgeous and amazing. <laughs> 
and doesn't have an alligator on it, um, then what you want to do is in the top right corner, you click on that image, whatever that is, um, with the arrow, and it's going to let you save it. So in the bottom left hand corner, you can hit save. And now it's just basically going to save it to your photos. And so if you go to your photos, it's there and then you can upload it as an image to your Poshmark listing and just create a not for sale or for sale or whatever listing. Let's see, how do I have it? Um, I have it for sale for $24. I have no idea why. Of course, nobody's going to buy it, but 59 people have liked it. And honestly, this is actually my second one. I can't remember what happened to the first one. Either I deleted it by accident or something happened to it and I had to start a new one. I was very upset. Um, and actually, I'm going to need to update this because moving forward into 2020, I'm no longer going to carry some of these things once I kind of sell out of the ones that I have. And now I've sold over 5,000 listings, so I need to update that for myself as well. But that's how you can create a bookmark listing in the Over app. Now let's just go real quick to the other two. Um, so Typerama is one that I use. And you have different options here to start with. You can start with just like a blank color if you want for your background. They have stock images that you can use as a background um, or you can use your photos as a background. So there's lots of different things that you can do. Here are some of the projects, um, all sorts of random things. But so basically it's the same thing as over um, I'm trying to think if these were like all kinds of just random signs that I was making either for Instagram or not. So if we just wanted to do like a quick one, um, you can pick from any of the text here. I just like basic text. Like I don't like anything too crazy. So you can put, you know, sold, um, 5,000 plus items since whatever, you know, 2012 or whatever you've done. Um, you know, and you can make it look nicer, of course, but you just go ahead and set it up however you'd like. You can plus click the plus button and that will add another element to it. This really only lets you put text over a background. So whether that background is solid or that background is a photo, um, it only is going to let you put text over it. So it's not as robust as over, but sometimes I just want something basic and this works out well. So you can click OK Share, click Save, and it will save it to your photos as well. And then you can upload that into your listing just like the other one. So I do have... I don't know where it is, but basically it's um, a listing that says, you know, oh, maybe it isn't over. Oh, it is here. So this one I made as a thank you. So I did make this an over. I forgot. Um, but so I just put thank you and how many listings I've sold. So, I mean, you can do all sorts of different types of things. Um, the other one is pick collage. This one has more like girly fonts, I would say, but I haven't ever really done it with a lot of pictures. So the ones that I created with Pic Collage are ones like this, where it's just, you know, glittery or, you know, sometimes scripty. They have like nice script fonts. So it's still text only, but it's graphical text, I guess you could say. Like it's, you're trying to make it fancy with just text. And um, so if we were going to do something like that, you can just click the plus button and skip because you're not using one of your photos. You just want a background, which is at the bottom. So you can click on background and put this nice purple, whatever. They have a lot of things that you'd have to pay more for, but there are tons of just basic colors and things that you don't have to pay for if you wanted to make something for Christmas or you know, that's usually seasonal. So right now we're coming up on Christmas, so that's why it's that. But they have all sorts of interesting backgrounds. This one I've used before. They have a black one, which is nice. So let's just use the black one for now. And then you can go ahead and click on the text and put 
clearance sale all items well actually i'll do it in different so we'll just write clearance sale on this one and you can make it bigger or whatever and then you can add another text that just says all items five dollars or whatever you're going to do you can change um if you click on the t you can change it to a different font you can change the color there's lots of different things that you can do with this one maybe we want to click the background of this one which is this um the background one so you can make it whatever you would like what well, looks good Oh, the denim one is kind of interesting. I mean, just for, I'm just showing you. So you can add stickers. I forget if you have to pay for these or not. I hardly ever do it. I really should. These are actually kind of cute. I never do that. I definitely need to do that more. <laughs> um, but you can add photos too. Like sometimes I make my collage photos in here and that would be a separate video. I can't do all of that on here right now. But if you click done, you can click save to library and that will end up in your photos as well, right there. So then you can add that to your Poshmark closet as well. So um, just to recap really quickly, I have all sorts of different things that I use sometimes and I don't use sometimes, but the main ones are Typorama, Pic Collage, and probably the most utilized one that I use is the Over app to make signs that look like these in my closet, the clearance sign, the um, mix and match sign, and my bookmark sign. So I hope that that was helpful to you. I would love it if you would let me know in the comments below if you'd like more um, in-depth tutorials on any of those apps. I'm happy to do it. I'm pretty familiar with them now. I use them for obviously making Poshmark signs. Um, and promotions signs, but I also use them for my Instagram posts. I use them to make collages for my photos, and I use them to make my thumbnails for YouTube, and um, even sometimes some of my print-on-demand designs. So I use them for a lot of things. I'm pretty well versed in them now, so I'd love it if you have specific questions because then maybe I can make a more in-depth video that answers your questions on what I use them for, how I use them, or just how to do specific things related to reselling with these apps because obviously they can be used for so many more things. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Like this video on the way out. It really does help me out and I need to be better about asking. And um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already because I do lots of interesting reselling content in my humble opinion. Have a nice day. Bye.